Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. It's still pretty early right now, so I wanted to go ahead and answer a question that I had on one of my gardening videos. Um, actually, I'm going to ask, answer a couple of questions. Uh, the first one was, what are grow bags? And so, uh, since I'm right here, um, you're looking at them right now. Uh, these grow bags um, are made to last up to five years. Uh, they're very, very affordable. Uh, you can get maybe 10, I believe these are five gallon grow bags. You can get three gallon, uh, five gallon, 10 gallon. They even go even bigger than that. But you get these bags and they last up to five years. But you can get like 10 of them for like $18 or something like that, depending on where you get them from. Every site has a different price. But um, as you see, uh, these grow bags, uh, we're growing lettuce in these. Uh, you can grow tomatoes. You can grow all kinds of things in them. They have enough depth uh, to have a great uh, root system established. Um, even in containers, you see the lettuce there. That's just in an old container that we bought uh, flour in, but um, it's perfectly good for growing lettuce. Okay, so these are grow bags. They come in different sizes and colors, and they are very affordable. This is a great affordable option for those of you who want to start a garden but don't really have the space or you may be renting and you can't um, dig into the earth. And so these grow bags will allow you to um, just buy the bags, uh, get your soil mixtures and um, grow right on top of the ground. Okay, that was the first question. Uh, the other question um, someone else had, or actually a few of you had this question is, how do you harvest your seeds from your plants? And so I'm walking over to the area that I'm going to use as my demonstration right now. Let me just cross over these uh, containers here. Yesterday I did a video where I was talking about the raised beds, using the fire rings as raised beds. So you see here's another area um, where we have raised beds as well. <clears throat> but right here... I wanted to show you uh, this particular green variety and this one. For those of you who want to know how to harvest seeds, um, what you see right here are flowers um, that are going to develop into pods. You see the greens, um, you could still harvest the greens from the, the lower parts of the plant. As you see, we still have lots of greens on here that can still be harvested and prepared and eaten. But look, we also have seed pods that are forming from the flowers. They're going to be forming from the flowers. Uh, they're going to get a lot fatter than this. Uh, right now they're too small, but you allow these to sit long enough. As you see up here, here are some that are a little bit fatter. Inside of those pods um, are seeds, but these are not ready for harvesting yet. You wait until um, they start to turn brown um, <clears throat> on the tips. As a matter of fact, here's some more that are a little bit fatter. You can actually see the seeds forming inside of those pods. And this is why in an earlier video, um, I said that this will pr produce thousands of seeds as you see it literally does it literally produces thousands of seeds and so um <clears throat> let me just try to get over i have to walk around so you're going to allow these to get well established and they have to have an opportunity Here's some, yeah, that's better, much better. Look at that. You can see all of those seeds in those pods. And in each pod, there are dozens, at least a dozen or more seeds in each pod. And so you will have thousands of these um, pods all over the plant, which is going to produce thousands of seeds. 
And so you want to allow this to mature. This is not the time to harvest them. You will know when they start to get dark, um, brown, not dark brown, I'm sorry, not dark brown. You will know when they start to um, turn brown and the seeds on the inside start to turn dark. Because right now, if you were to open up one of these, the seeds um, are actually going to be more greenish. But they will darken up on the inside and um, become usable after the pods start to turn brown. And so um, that's when you will know when to harvest this. And once you harvest them, make sure that you... Um, we usually harvest ours and put them into a metal bowl um, and let them sit for a bit. Once you let them sit for a bit, then you can start to package them and label them according to what they are. Now, because we have different green varieties, uh, we do uh, do them one at a time. Uh, like that right there, those are mustard greens. And this is <clears throat> um, a kale variety. And as you see, some of the pods are forming on here as well. And so you will label them according to what they are. As you see, we still have kale uh, that can be harvested from this plant, but it has started to produce its seeds. So when, when it is ready, we will label these um, according to what their variety is and store them for the next growing season. As a matter of fact, some of these will be ready they will actually be ready to uh, plant again this fall. These are greens that were planted last fall. So if you have the space, um, keep in mind that certain green varieties can sit over the winter. They can sit over the winter and come up again in the spring. This is what you are seeing right here. All of this stuff right here was actually planted last fall. And we were able to pick off and eat off of it. And look at this. We're still able to do that. Even though they are producing seeds now. Look at that. We still have plenty of greens that we can take off. And eat. Now, <clears throat> this right here was uh, planted just, I'd say, about a week and a half ago. Maybe two weeks. Uh, this is red Russian kale. It's not seeding or anything like that. I'm just showing it to you because it's um, at the point of being ready. Um, as a matter of fact, we pick off of it when we are ready to eat uh, certain meals. We put this in our salads. Um, this is so delicious that you could just eat it raw. If you want to lightly saute it, that's fine too. But this type of um, kale tastes so good raw in your salads that I wouldn't even um, I wouldn't even suggest cooking it unless you're just doing like a quick little green stir fry. I do that sometimes too where I will pick certain varieties of greens like these or those and I'll uh, kind of saute it all together uh, with some onions and olive oil in a skillet and I'll chop some tomatoes up on it and it is so good so good but um anyway that was my video for now i just wanted to explain the process of collecting seeds uh to those of you who asked and then i also wanted to show what the grow bags are for those of you who inquired about those as well okay with that i will say shalom